today i shall discuss about settlement of house consolidated soils plastic clay or normally consolidated clay there are two types of formation one is hard clay or hard siltic clay and other is compressible clay or stiff clay but not heavily preconsolidated for preconsolidated soil there are there are basic parameters for settlement analysis is pressure weight of foundation and poisson ratio and elastic modulus another factor is the factor correction importance factor is there these are other factors for the heavily preconsolidated and or hard clay soil or silty clay soil but or normally consolidated clay the settlement is dependent on compression index significant drift and pressure intensity and overburden pressure at the mid height of significant drift the difference between this two equation per heavily consolidated or very hard clay soil if pressure in varies the settlement accord settlement proportional to that variation if weight varies that settlement varies proportionally but in case of in case of this normally consolidated clay the equation not directly proportional to any either for pressure intensity or for foundation weight or for any other factors because more the foundation weight the significant thickness shall be more these are the basic difference so it is not directly proportional neither for low pressure intensity nor for foundation sizes so i have first i have calculated the settlement starting from pressure intensity of 5 ton per meter square to meter square to uh, every 5 ton interval to 40 ton ton per meter square keeping foundation size at 1.5 meter and depth of foundation as 2 meter below the ground level i have calculated the yeah. 5 ton it is 15.68 for 10 ton it is 27.03 for 20 ton it is 43.23 and for 40 ton it is 63.89 i will say it is not directly proportional to pressure intensity but in case of in case of pre consolidated soil it shall be directly proportional to the pressure intensity next i have calculated the settlement
considering a load of 15 ton per square meter and depth of foundation as 2 meter and width varying from 1 meter to 6 meter 1 meter, 1.5 meter, 2 meter, 2.5 meter accordingly for each half meter variation I have calculated and I am getting the settlement of this mass. For 1 meter it is 26.04, for 1 meter 26.04, for 2 meter it is 44.35, for 4 meter it is 78.44 for 6 meter it is for 6 meter it is 101.06 so you see this is the curve this is the this is the settlement and this is the foundation sizes because it is not directly proportional to the foundation sizes. Yes, it is increasing due to increase of foundation sizes, but it is not directly proportional. Since many books say that the actual settlement is directly proportional, arithmetically proportional to the foundation sizes. Yes, it is proportional in case of pre hard pre consolidated claim. But for normally consolidated clay, it is not arithmetically proportional, it is not directly proportional. Because you see, this is the scales. So, another, another different calculation I have conducted. In, there are a lot of equations to convert the plate load test settlement considering the plate size with that of different foundation sizes and there are a lot of equation one very popular equation is Scott Scott equation is 2b divided by BP this is a plate size BP and plus half point three in to, to the to the power 2 into uh, plate settlement. Another equation is foundation settlement equal to this is Ramaya introduced this equation uh, uh, foundation base divided by plate size into plate settlement recorded. Bull's theory he, he had advocated and propagated an equation b uh, foundation size divided by plate size to the power 0.45 and it a multiple of plate settlement. This another equation is there. Scott equation is there. Scott has. Oh uh, no, it is. I have already said it. In IS 809 part 1, give the lo give the equation foundation size multiplied by plate size plus 0.3 divided by plate size multiple with foundation size plus 0.3 whole square with a multiple of plate settlement all this all this equation our we are just simply i am considering the one meter settlement calculated earlier calculated earlier for one meter it is 
and with that and load is same only i am changing the changing the foundation dimension from 1.5 meter to 6 meter i am considering 1 meter as a as my plate size and accordingly i got scott value scott equation it gives us 138.67 ramaya 39.06 is009 30.56 bowls 31.29 peck 13867 and others others means after all the calculation i need a very close value to this what we calculated as per uh, co- compression index void ratio foundation size significant depth and overburden pressure pressure uh, intensity as per bosonak theory with that equation we are calculating it is 35.92 and using that equation it is coming to 35.29 as uh, say is009 is giving very l- very low result very lower value but in case of that size we have calculated say it is 4 meter foundation size 4 meter foundation size we have calculated it is 78.44 mm but whereas as per is equation if we calculate considering 1 meter as a plate size then it is coming as 38.08 so considering this variation considering the variation we can say the although the settlement neither proportional to pressure intensity nor the foundation sizes but it has a very close relationship between foundation sizes and pressure intensity so considering all the detail aspects detail aspects i was trying to trying to evaluate an equation simply the multiple this this is uh, the 2d power 2 that means square in instead of square i am using bf by bp to the power 0.75 into sp which is very close to our ca- actual calculated value let us see in this in this graph this is the it is this yellow line is calculated line this yellow line is calculated line and this red line is settlement using this 0.75 to the power 0.75 criteria and it gives very very closest value than our calculated one other equation you see scott gives extremely value high value express uh, ramaya theory also express arithmetic proportional this is bolz theory gives very low values which is much lower for bigger fund size foundations and peak values give much higher values like that of scott is 80 part 1 gives very poor values lower values then like that of bolz theory and this equation also this is this equation gives very close relationship with the theoretical estimate in my opinion we should 
adopt this equation this equation for estimation of different type of foundation as is, as you know we are having not this one size of foundation pressure intensity shall be same but our our foundation size may be may oftenly vary from different sizes so for each and every foundation we cannot go for long calculation system so instead of that we can use this equation very precisely which gives us more close to the theoretical estimates thanking you please have a nice day